First thing you're going to do is unplug your pump. Make sure it's unplugged. Then you're going to want to chuck your wheels so they're not rolling all over the place. So the pump's not rolling. All right. First thing you want to do to change your seals is take off this casing gasket. Unscrew your wing nut. <laughs> Remove the casing gasket. I mean the casing clamp. Then you're going to remove your casing. And you might have to pull with a little force on these little C114 pumps. And that's why you want to chalk your wheels so you don't pull your pump across the brewery. Now this is important. You're going to want to hide the impeller, push it in so you can pull the impeller off. And then you're going to want to turn your shaft and your impeller retainer falls out. Okay, next take your casing gasket off and discard. Next you're going to take your back plate off and you push in and twist. Push in and twist. With that probably will come all your seal components, but back plate, carbon seal, cup, spring, inside the carbon seal, a ring, a part. Here's your replacement seal kit from MG Knoll. It's got your carbon seal, casing gasket, your impeller pin, and your O-ring, your shaft O-ring. Here's all the parts. So you got your pump apart. First thing you're going to want to do is put your new shaft O-ring on your shaft and push it up against the groove. Now you're going to want to look for this notch and line it up to the 12 o'clock position. And then you're going to want to put your spring on. Make sure it's in good shape. Yep. Good spring. Now you're going to take your cup, your stainless steel cup, and your carbon seal. Put them together. Then you're going to want to line this groove up with that notch at the 12 o'clock position. And you're just going to want to place it there. Take your back plate and you're going to hook these back plate pins around these two little um, arms. Push it in. Make sure my Perfect. Back plate on. Now your new casing gasket on. Put your impeller retainer. Turn your shaft horizontal again. Put your impeller retainer in there so it's flush. And then you put your impeller on. And then you're going to turn this 90 degrees until the impeller falls out and it's holding. Now look, put your casing back on. With one hand, you can use, put your clamp back on. And you're done.